Sixty second debates. All right, everyone in the cage. That means every single person is going to fight against each other. Now we're going to start with Arham for Chelsea. The debate is Chelsea versus Liverpool versus Arsenal versus United. If you're a player, which club you should join? Back your club right now, regardless of where your club is in this position, and you have sixty seconds to start. Arham, I'm going to start with you. Sixty seconds start now. Okay, I think we can put United out of the conversation because they are winning the league. So right now, Chelsea I think is the most attractive club among the other three that we have left. Okay, that it has been a turbulent start to this new project under Bolly. We all know that, but look at the foundations that we have laid: Cole Palmer, Levi Colville, Fernandez, Moy, and Kunku Sancho. These are all elite young talents, and many of these players were already wanted by other top clubs, but they chose Chelsea, which shows that the players. And all the young players are buying into the project. Then we have Estevao and Kendry Pass coming into the team next season. And the team has already started to gel and perform as a cohesive unit. So people like Jamie Carragher and others have already been forced into chewing their own words because they were saying Chelsea is not young and attractive team, but they are. And look, Arsenal might be riding high on their recent league form, but they don't have the silverware and squad depth to sustain any sort of dominance. And which is why it is not a very attractive project for Chelsea's project is very long term. It's built for success, like not just for right. season. Very, very well, very well. That was great. That was great. That was really good. I, if I was a player, I'd join you. That's very, very good pitch, bro. Next team up is Liverpool. Abuna, your time starts now. All right, so we are one of the most stable clubs in the Premier League, and we are no way close to breaching any PSR rules. We make sensible transfers, I guess, and when we are not breaking wage structures left and right by offering like three fifty k for an aging goalkeeper or something, and we are in no danger of our ownership getting bored and withdrawing funding, like maybe Todd Bowley or anyone. And talking about ownership, we. Our owners are basically very sensible, and they go by data and facts. They are the ones who actually kind of go by a plan. Uh, they're not Todd Bowley. They're not missing at the transfer market with like eight-year contracts and sending players on a whim. And if you look at the youth players that we have, uh, we have Curtis Jones, we have Quanza, we have Harvey Elliott, uh, we have Connor Bradley. All we know, and we have other players like Neoni and Bendo coming up. And, and again, if you just look go by the tradition and the history of the club, I think the trophy is most successful club in England, second most Premier League titles, and after City in any. Given Champions League season, we are the closest, uh, the closest Premier League club to win the club, win, win the Champions League. So again, I think if you look at all of those things, all of those facts, I think we are the most attractive, and yeah, we are probably the most stable. Amazing, amazing, brilliant. I will join Liverpool actually. Sorry, Arun. <laughs> that was a very, very convincing argument. Uh, AJ, are you ready? There was a lie in there. It doesn't matter. This is not the presidential debate, bro. There were so many you. lies in all of yours. So it's fine. <laughs> it doesn't matter. This is not. There's no fact checking going on here. All right, AJ, three, two, one. Bro, start. I don't have a one minute elevator pitch. Okay. So I think we are the best club in London. Uh, you get the London lifestyle, but more than that, we are the club who defined the project. We have a generational manager who is on to big things. You. Like every player that has spoken to him, when it comes to transfers or getting to Arsenal, it's always been how he has showed them a new way of playing football, and you haven't seen that a lot except for maybe Guardiola. And uh, even like now, the trajectory that Arsenal has been on the past four or five years, uh, we are the best place club in England to win anything and everything that is out there. We are more stable. I'm sure we're more stable than Liverpool just because they have been crying for a CDM for like past three seasons and they still haven't got one. So if I were going to their place, I would just be like sulking because I've been robbing. I've been robbed of a chance to win silverware. But Arsenal, on the other hand, we are right there. We are competing with City. We are competing with the Madrids and hopefully all of these. Uh, club, other clubs in big championships, and we have the space, we have the uh, profiles that we would need, and we have the uh, vacancies in the squad for you to play. So, yeah, very well it's done. Cabinet as well. I'm definitely joining Arsenal, like, regardless. What a pitch! Mamsi, are you ready? I'm very excited to know what's happening here. About All right. three, two, one, start. Yeah, I mean, for most players, match stand is probably not the right place to go because the majority won't survive it. But of the few of you that really want to win stuff they, and believe in the track record of winning stuff, uh, this is probably the right place to be. We have Kobe Meno, Garnacho, Young Lenny Oro, uh, really good Rasmus Hoyland, all less than 23 years old. So really good young crop of players. Uh, Chido Obi Martin also joining the academy. So there's a lot of potential for young players to come through the academy. They get a lot of time in, in the Premier League. 
and if you perform well at Manchester United, the world is literally at your feet. Probably Real Madrid calling, uh, you know, other big clubs calling. Uh, yeah, so I don't think you need to explain why you have to join Manchester United. Majority won't fit that profile, but if you feel like you're good enough, then Manchester United is a no-brainer. Good so, job, one, so you want players to join United so that they can join <laughs> Real Madrid Except, later on? I guess we can all agree this was the worst thing so far. I would say the attack of the trophy is surely is, is, is there for the United even in turbulent times. But yeah, just a, just a quick, Adam, uh, if not Chelsea, out of the rest of the three, who do you think had the best pitch and who would you join if you were a young player and you can't join Chelsea? Okay, so I think most out of the pitches that everyone made, I think Abhinav's pitch was quite strong. And the way he laid it out, if not Chelsea, then I think if I were a player, I would choose uh, Liverpool and I think it's very evident Mike Caicedo was ready to join Liverpool until the big boys Chelsea jumped in so he went to the better club. But if Chelsea is out of the equation and though Fernandez was linked to Liverpool but then Chelsea came in and he got here. Liverpool were interested in Levi Colville from Chelsea but obviously he was at Chelsea so he decided to stick here. So I think yeah, the second option would be Liverpool yeah. just because of the stability that they offer and a sort of clear plan and structure which uh, young players might not get at the other clubs over here especially not at United. Like. All right, AJ, uh, if Arsenal are not coming in for you, where are you going? I mean, Liverpool has always been my second club, so it, the, the pitch never ne- mattered. Chelsea, I'm, I can never go. United, I mean, stop of dreams. They can, they can no, dream I mean, of getting if me. If you're a player, don't forget the fact that you're a fan. But if you're a player, yeah, Liverpool, I'm telling okay. you, know, United can, United can dream of getting me. Like they'll have to sell the club. Chelsea, there's like too many players, so they probably won't be able to. I don't know how how they'll manage. They'll get new players, but then where will they where will they play? Mm-hmm. Uh, so Liverpool, yeah, and okay. there's you know a lot of playing with Mo Salah. Let's Let's go. Okay, I've been enough. Liverpool aren't coming yep. to you. There's a lot of second club love going on right now, and I think based on the fact that you know it's it's always been Arsenal for me. I think it's I really want to kind of join Arsenal given how they've been performing and you know they've been in the equation for the past couple of years. I mean they're on the upward trajectory with Arteta and everything that you know a young player can look for. So I think it definitely will be Arsenal. I think Chelsea. Too many players. There's no identity at this point. I mean Chelsea as a club can have an identity, but as a player, if I join the club, I don't know where I'll be and what I'll do in the mix of like 45 players and United I think maybe I mean I'd best not to talk about United for the next couple of years till they kind of find themselves so I think it should be just Arsenal Pamsi if if United are not coming in for you these three clubs are in for you where are you going? Probably Liverpool I think they are very Mm -hmm. strategic in how they acquire players it doesn't matter if they rejected FC it really doesn't they pick the right profile of players and if you fall into that then it's a no-brainer if you don't fall into that then don't go to Chelsea you might not even get into the gym so you're only asking (laughs) The only option left is Arsenal <laughs> at that point. But at Arsenal, you're not breaking into that team because all the first team is really up. So mm-hmm. probably restricted to like minutes here and there and like MLS. All right, Liverpool clear winner here. 